if I were to express a little bit of patience and positivity when I was missing all those shots and I were to, and I was to play my game how I usually did and set myself up in positions to outplay my opponents, my shots would have fell in line instead of me getting so aggravated and doing a downward spiral. Transmission received. Authorization granted. Welcome to the video. What's up, dreamers? Hope you're having a fantastic day or had a fantastic day depending on where you are in the world. And I have to let you know that you, boop, are awesome. I was delayed on the boop there. Welcome to driving and vibe and bounce. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the vibe today? Today, 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 the day of today. I wanna to talk about being patient, expressing some patience because success does not happen overnight. Consistency, patience, consistency, those kind of go hand in hand with, uh, you know, career moves. We'll say career moves, uh, you know, journeys. Well, no, we're not career moves. What else is that? But journeys. And I want to talk about, um, look, I can see in the camera, there's a car coming out. That's cool. I, I want to talk about um, kind of staying positive throughout and how positivity can truly impact your, in a, in a positive way, your journey or your gaming performance. This is absolutely 100% true. We're gonna start with some, we're gonna start positivity here and patience. We're gonna start with positivity and patience. Story time, story time, story time, story time. When I played Counter-Strike heavily and was competing all the time, I had, I would say my outlook in game was over, over, overall optimistic. Like I, I always had faith that I was going to make the right move. And if I didn't, I would, uh, I would do everything in my power to learn from that and not let it get me angry. But there are times where I would get angry, upset, I would get frustrated and my outlook, or I would get down, we would get down as a team. So many rounds that my outlook on the overall, on that particular game would not be very optimistic. And that would just hammer my ability to play the game. The days that I was I was feeling it, I was vibing. We talk about vibing all the time. We're driving and we're vibing, but it, you could also vibe in game with positivity and you're just kind of feeling it. You know this, if you've played this and you feel this, if you've played a game where you're feeling it and you're like positive and your outlook is, a, is, is in a positive light and you're like, I'm gonna win this game. I'm gonna play well, this and that. You're more than likely gonna hit those shots. You're gonna, you're gonna make the, the correct move. You're gonna outplay your opponents. You're gonna, you're gonna perform better than you normally would if, if you had a negative outlook on that game or that, that, well, yeah, that game. And when I played, there are times that I would get angry. And I, again, you could probably relate to this. I would get angry, irritated, and let's say I would start missing shots. That would be the first thing. I'd be, I'd be getting outplayed, so I'd start missing shots. Then I'd get frustrated that I'm missing shots. That'd be like point one for me, where I'd get frustrated that I am missing these shots. And then I would I would focus on nothing else besides for me hitting shots. I would be, I'd basically ignore the rest of the game, which, you know, games, the game I was playing specifically, very teamwork oriented. I would I would do the teamwork, of course, but it was it was bare minimum so that I could focus more on hitting my shots. And and that did not really pan out because if you set yourself up in game for success to outplay the opponent with patience instead of um, you know rushing through to try to really just hit those shots and get the frags, you're more than likely going to actually hit those shots, right? And so then my, my shots and my gameplay would suffer even further. So that negative that negative uh, kind of emotion that I was carrying through the game was negatively impacting me. So you gotta try to stay optimistic. And of course, at like, you're not always gonna be able to be optimistic. You're not always gonna be able to be positive. There's gonna be times where that's gonna fade in and out. But if you can, if you can really practice the act of recovering from the negative emotions, to turning them back into positive. Like if I were to miss shots, be like, okay, well, why did I miss? Let's think, let's think really quickly, why did I miss those shots? Keep focusing on teamwork. Keep focusing on my plays, playing the game. Why did I miss those shots? Maybe I was in a bad position, right? Maybe I was just in a bad position that one. Let, let me reposition myself, try again. Maybe that's why I know that I can hit these shots I have a million times before. So it's not that I can't hit these shots. Do you see how that could make a huge difference? Just, just phrasing it like that. like. 
It's not that, oh man, I just can't hit these shots or, you know, I, I'm so bad. There, are, have, there have been times where I'd be like, oh, I'm so bad. I'm just so bad at the game. But, I, you know, realistically, I knew I wasn't, right? But that would set me back. Like if I say bad, I'm bad at the game and I keep saying it, I'm gonna, my body, my mind is gonna think I'm bad at the game. And you're just gonna, you're gonna, una- you're really not gonna be able to repair the game. So you gotta really, positivity is, is huge, huge, huge. Huge on that, on uh, you know, gaming performance overall, and not only that, not only gaming performance, but your um, overall, uh, if you're starting a wellness journey, patience is really big in a wellness journey. It took me eight months to start seeing muscle. When I first started my wellness journey in 2017, I started July, July, what the heck? I started January 1st, 2017, the first day, that's right, 2017. It wasn't until August, that's eight months, Maybe a little more than that, right? Because August is eight months. So it's in, in and around the August range. I, my goal was to build some muscle, right? I didn't see any muscle until that. I pushed through eight months knowing that eventually I was going to see the results that I was looking for so long as I kept up with it. I, I expressed patience the whole way through. Are there times where I got frustrated? Yes. Are there times where, you know, and there are days where I, I slipped up by just not going and that's okay. That happens as long as you push forward the following days, right? Missing one day is okay, but missing two days in a row, try to avoid that. But I push through and I want, you know, one thing that helps patients is asking for help too. I talked to somebody about, in, in maybe June or July, maybe, maybe it was June, it was five or six months in, I talked to somebody, became a really good friend, he explained to me it took him a year, uh, 13 months, he said, to actually, he, this guy was really big, lots of muscles. It took him thir- 13 months or something. He had the same build as me. It took him 13 months to kind of start even showing muscle. But he said, you, he said, you just push through. And, it, and then he said, you know, your, your, your end goal or whatever, well, that's one of your big goals. But he said, how do you feel? Like there's other aspects of just, instead of just look, searching for that end goal. He said, how do you feel when you're here at the gym, like working out? How do you feel after? And I, I answered, honestly, I feel great. I love being at the gym. The presence is good. I love, I love, uh, you know, and I enjoy lifting, doing the act of lifting the weights. I enjoy learning about lifting weights. And I enjoy, um, and I enjoy uh, how I feel when I, when I, during the time and after the time. So I think that's very important to also look at different outlooks, to be able to try to push positivity forward. So that, that kind of, because I, I looked at it in that way, I was like, okay, well, yeah, that is a huge, that is a huge benefit. I'm not seeing the muscle growth yet, but I know that it could be, could be delayed. It could take a while. I know that it could take a little bit and talking to somebody really helped. Just getting that one person telling me that information really gave me a new perspective and patience, patience pays off. Patience pays off in game two. Patience and positivity. I just went over the fact that I was getting aggravated with myself in a lot of games. I think, and I personally, I, I don't think, but I personally, personally, pers- what? Personally, personally, personally. <laughs> oh man, I personally believe that if I were to express a little bit of patience and positivity when I was missing all those shots and I, were to, and I was to play my game how I usually did and set myself up in positions to outplay my opponents, my shots would have fell in line instead of me getting so aggravated and, and doing a downward spiral. Positivity and patience are very key aspects to not only a wellness journey to improve your overall well-being, but your overall gaming performance, how you perform in game, both short-term and long-term. So I think practicing all of that is very, very, very important. I'm not even gonna drag this out for another minute. So I just, I, if anybody has any tips that they, um, you know, use in, to express positivity, to work on positivity and patience and, you know, optimism, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear them. If anybody has any uh, questions, I would love to answer them. If you liked what you heard, hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And I hope to see everybody in the next video. Later, dreamers.